Tonight, I'm so excited. I celebrate grace. I celebrate grace. I celebrate grace. I celebrate grace. Thank you, Papa, for giving me this opportunity tonight to open this service. You are all welcome. This is World of Fire Ministry International. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We are going to thank God. We are going to thank Him. The Bible says in Psalm 92, it is good. It's a good thing to thank. To thank unto to give thanks unto the Lord Amen. and to sing praise into the, thy name, O Most High. To show forth the loving kindness in the morning Amen. and the faithfulness in the night. Amen. Hallelujah. We are grateful for his faithfulness. Amen. We are thanking, thanking, thanking for the victory, for another day of victory. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Oh Father, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. Blessed be your name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are faithful, faithful God. Faithful God, reliable God, dependable God. Lord, you are faithful. We are grateful, Lord, for the breath of life. He said his praise shall continually be in my mouth. If he has given you a mouth, begin, begin to thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the breath of life. We thank you. For the breath of life, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We exalt you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Father, like thank you for preservation, O Lord. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for your protection for our children, Lord. We say thank you. For everyone at World of Fire Ministry, we have not had cause to, to cry. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, El Shaddai. Elohim, we worship you. We exalt you, Lord. God. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Father, we worship you. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. Father, Lord. Lord. Lord, for me. Thank you for your mercy. Watching over me so jealously, Lord, I thank you for your love for me. Lord, I thank you for your love for me. Father, we thank you for your love, O oh Lord. We say thank you. Father, we thank you, o Lord God, for your grace and mercy. We thank you, o Lord God, for you have made it possible for us to be in your presence tonight. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Father Lord. You are so faithful, too faithful to fail. Lord, we make you. you are merciful. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah to your name. Lord, we give you praise and adoration. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, El Shaddai. Dependable God. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Thank you, Father. 
rise from thy mother's womb, and you anointed me with your favor and Lord, your eyes on me to accomplish your desire, Lord, I thank you for your love for me, Lord, I thank you for your love for me, thank you for your love for me. Thank you for your mercy, baby, me. Worship over me so jealously. I thank you for your love for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love for me. Continue to worship Him, worship Him, you are the comfort of your home, but you are still in the presence of your Maker. You are still in the presence of your Maker. Continue to worship Him wherever you are. Father, we bless your name. We worship your Lord. We worship your Lord. You are, you are great. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you for your mercy, baby. Me, washing over me so jealously. Lord, I thank you for your love for. Continue to worship him. Continue to worship him. Continue to worship him. Continue to worship him. Mata le boko shikata la ba. Ne breke le bro soto riba ba ba. Kele le le boshika la ba ba. Reke le bo soto riba. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. O Koriaba, ask for mercy, ask for mercy, ask for mercy, ask for mercy. It's by His mercy that we are not consumed. It's by His mercy we are not consumed. Ask for mercy, ask for mercy. And our Lord, we ask for your mercy. No, because, O Lord God, we are too just. No, because of what we have done, but because of your mercy. We have come, O Lord God, to receive grace and mercy. Father, Lord, we ask for mercy. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins, O Lord. We ask for your mercy, Lord. Forgive us our sins, Lord. Oh, forgive us our sins. 
Ah, forgive us, O Lord. Forgive our sins. O God, our forefathers, our fathers, our mothers, Father, our children in this nation. Father, Lord, we know we have sinned against you. God, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Father, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. Ma, Father, Lord, God, mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Over the world, oh Lord, we ask for mercy. Father, in Lord, remember mercy. Mercy, O oh God. Mercy, O oh God. Mercy, O oh Lord. Father, we ask for mercy. Father, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. Mercy, O oh God. Upon the church, upon your people. Mercy, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for your mercy. Begin to ask for the blood of Jesus. We have overcome by the blood. Let the blood sanctify us, justify us, purify by the blood. Begin to ask for the blood, the blood to cleanse us. The blood, the blood of our spirit, our soul, our body. The blood of our spirit, our soul, our body. The blood, the blood, begin to ask for the blood. Begin to ask for the blood. The blood of Jesus to cleanse us. The blood of Jesus to cleanse us. The blood of Jesus to cleanse us. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Father, let your blood, the blood of God of the everlasting covenant. Let the blood cleanse us, purify us, justify us, O Lord. Father, by the blood. By the blood, O Lord God, we have overcome. We ask for the blood. Father, we ask for the blood. We ask for the blood. Your word said, O Lord, you are just and faithful to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness with the blood of Jesus. Father, we ask for the blood over our spirit, our soul, our body. The blood that cleanses. The blood that cleanses. The blood that cleanses. The blood that cleanses. The blood that justifies. The blood that purifies. Oh, blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Over our testimonies. Over our testimonies. Over our children. The blood of Jesus. In this auditorium, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood. Blood of Jesus. We ask for the blood to cleanse us, to purify us. Blood of the everlasting covenant. Makatori Baba. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Begin to activate your angels. Begin to activate your angels. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ministry Spirit, we activate you. Angels of fire. Angels of war. We activate you. Begin to fight for us. In every corner of this world, Matelebo Shikata, Rede de Rebo Sekatari Mamande de Rebo Sikatariba, Rebo Shikata, Angels of Favor, Angels of Breakthrough, Angels of Breakthrough, Angels of Healing and Deliverance, Matori Bakata, we activate you, we activate you, we activate you, we activate you, Makelebo Sete, Angels of Settlement, Makatori Baba, Kerobo Shikaraba, we activate you, Angels of Rest. Kotori Mandara, angels of strength, Mandori Bakata, we activate you, we activate you, we activate you, Reaper angels, Reaper angels, Reaper angels, Reaper angels, we activate you, we activate you, we activate you, Makatori Baba, Rekete, Rekete, Lebo Shikaya, Yenerebo Sotori Karababa, Ori Mandale, Probo Seteri Kata, Rekele Broskete, mobilizing angels, Matele Brokotori Aba, we activate you. We activate, we activate, we activate. Makatori basata, lenderere bo shikara baba, ebre kotori basata riaba. Ministry spirit, we are being activated. We are giving to us two of air of salvation. Makotori basata lebo, seterere bo shikata, nambrendori baba keterere, ori mama derere bo shikata li baba, rekere bro sotori baba kata, matori mama keterere. Le broshi kalababa, 
Thank you, Father, for the ministry spirit. Thank you for the angels. Thank you for the angels. Thank you for the angels. Begin to put on the whole armor. Begin to put on the whole armor. Begin to put on the whole armor. The helmet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. Marco Shikata le broseta, the belt of truth. Man de rebo sekeri aba, na rebo sete, the sword of the spirit. That the word that is powerful. That two edged sword. Marco Shikata le bro sikata le bro koshi la baba. Man de rebo sokori bakate le bro sikata. Marco tori mama seke le bro. We put on the whole armor. 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 The whole armor of God. The full armor of God. The full armor of God over our families, over our loved ones, our children, in the name of Jesus. Every member of Water Fire Ministry, the full armor. The full armor of God. The full armor of God. The full armor of God. Above all, we put on the shield of faith to quench fiery data, principalities and powers. Wickedness in high places in the mighty name of Jesus. Marebo Shikata Lebobos Randa Lebobo. We put on the whole armor, the full armor of God, the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Nakerebro Sotori Baba, the full armor of God. Marco Tori Bacate Lebos, Yekere Lebos Sikata Lebaba, Ori Mamma Lebos Shikata Lebos Sekete, Kemande Lebos Sotori Baba, Neke Lebos Sikata Lebro Kata. Thank you for the full armor. Thank you for the full amour. Thank you for the full amour. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mark Lebro Shikata Lebo Bobo Seta. Begin to bring your expectation before the Lord. Your expectation. Your expectation. Begin to bring your expectation. What do you expect tonight? In the mighty name of Jesus. And commit the set man, the man of God, into the hand of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have come again, O God, to receive grace and mercy. Father, Lord, we have come again, O Lord, to receive grace and mercy. Father, we commit, O Lord, God, this service into your hands. Father, we commit the set man, Father, into your hands. Bring, O Lord, God, your word, O God, through his mouth. Father, speak to his mouth. Speak to his mouth. Speak to his mouth. Hear to his ears. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the power dimension of your word be released. The fire dimension of your word be released. Father, to deliver to him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, through the apostle of God, wrought miracle tonight. Signs and wonders. Let there be testimonies. Let there be encounters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ne kotori bakata. Brendo sikari baba sekata. Father, Lord God, we thank you. Brendo shikataria. Show yourself once again. Show yourself once again, as you have always Jesus done, O oh Lord. Father, show Lord, yourself Lord. again. Ma Gotoriaba, God of Water Fire Ministry. Ma Goriba Sata. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Karaba. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, we worship you. There is no one like you. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. There's no one compared to you, Lord. What a wonderful name it is. For the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the sweetest name, I know. You are the sweetest name, I know. shikata la baba. You are the sweetest name, I know. Ma kelele bo sokori baba sekere. Since I'm before you, silence the boss of sin and grace. Jesus, I worry.
Dios es de Kima, Dios es de Powerful name is the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess that he's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Hallelujah to your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we've prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father Lord God. Thank you. We are all welcome at World and Fire Ministries. We are going to take our announcement. Before the man of God will come in, we are going to take our announcement. Welcome to all of you that is connected online right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Our next prophetic miracle deliverance service is scheduled to, for this Sunday, 12 April 2020. It shall be an anointing service as well. Also invite everyone connected to you on, on Facebook, hallelujah, to partake with this blessing. And the time is 11.30 a.m. Amen. Also, <coughs> on Thursday, we have our Bible study like today we have on Facebook at the moment. So we have our Bible study on next Thursday at 7.30 on Facebook Live, the 16th of April, 2020. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. So everyone, for everyone that want to give online, we have our account number that is, has been sent. So if you want to give, you are all welcome to give in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So at the moment, we are going to give, a, call the man of God. I'm going to call the man of God. Just worship Master Just Jesus. Worship, worship, continue to worship him. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Glory to God. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Open your mouth. Celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. Tonight is another night of victory. Tonight is another night of victory. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Open your mouth. Just tell him how much you love him. Just tell him how much you love him. Just tell him how much you love him. The God in whom we live, we act, we walk, and we have our being. The God who call it those things that be not as though they are. We love you, Master Jesus. We just adore you. El Shaddai. Elohim, we worship you. We worship the God of all flesh. The multi-present God, we adore you. The Lamb of God, seven eyes, seven horns, we love you. The multi-present one, we adore you. Jesus, wonderful Jesus, full of mercy, we love you. The one that laid the being of his chamber upon the waters. We love you. We worship you. The God that walks upon the wind of Asechariot. 
The one that seated on the cycle of the earth, we worship you. The God that opened the two-leaf gate before Saros. Jehovah Timbera is his name. Jehovah Jireh is his name. The very God of fire, we adore you. Mato Sembali Akatala. Leke Kete Sasombali Akata. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. La Palia. Mali Akata. Open your mouth, speak in tongues. La Kekatolo Kote. Male Sasala. Make Katolo Kotele. Male Kotele Kete. Masa Sosembayala. Male Kokote Maya Lakata. Leke Ketele. La Sosembaya Kata. Made Katolo Kote. La Ketele Kete. We thank you. We thank you. We love you, Master Jesus. We love you, Master Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we just want to thank you for another day like this. Oh Lord, bless the word that is about to come forth. Bless your people, Abba Father. Save us, deliver us, restore us, and fill us with the Holy Ghost. Fill us with your power, fill us with boldness. Fill us, oh Lord, with revelation and knowledge to speak your word in truth. Praise your Jesus, we confess that you are the Lord of Lords. We confess that you are the King of Kings. We confess that you died. You were buried and you rose again on the third day for our salvation. We just love you, Master Jesus. Thank you and thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please get your notebooks, get your everything that you need to get to write down stuff today. Get it, please, in the name of Jesus. Glory on earth to our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. From whom all blessings flow. I want to thank you all tonight for joining again. For this special Bible study meeting. And to hear the counsel of the Lord in this end time. For those who don't know me, my name is Kenneth Njume. I'm the born seven year at Word and Fire Ministry. And Word and Fire Ministry, if you want to know, is a Bible believing church. And we are, we are all Bible believing Christians who believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I've said already, we have nothing to do with denominations. Because we believe that God does not create divisions. Here at Word and Fire Ministry, we preach bonus. We preach the undiluted Word of God. We preach the raw power of God. We are called to prepare the saints for the coming of Jesus Christ. Today, everybody talks about prosperity. They talk about the seven keys of marriage. But no one is really talking about the coming of the Lord Jesus until now. So we preach the cross. We preach the kingdom that Jesus Christ of Nazareth died on the cross of Calvary, was buried and rose again to redeem mankind. So I'm here tonight led by the Holy Spirit to summarize tonight my teaching. I said I'll go back to the ABC of oh, Christianity. ABCs. You know questions people ask me these days? How, how do I get saved? As simple as that. Many people don't know how to get saved. And God told me that, son, if you don't begin to tell them, begin to take questions and answers, many of them will go to hell because of ignorance. My people suffer for lack of knowledge. Simple, simple things they don't know. And that's what we'll be doing tonight. We'll be answering a lot of very simple questions that many of you online and those who are not online may have asked. Uh, he said to me, drum it, drum it to their ears about the message of resurrection. Drum it to their ears. Prepare them because preaching Christ very soon will be considered a hate speech. Take note of what I just said. Preaching Jesus Christ very soon will be considered a hate speech and will be banned all over the world. Right now, it's only banned in certain areas of the world like China and all that. But it said to me, a time is coming where even their Bibles, will not, they will not be allowed to take their Bibles. They will not be allowed to use their phones. Preaching Christ will be a hate speech at that time. I pray that when that time comes, the Bible will be in our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. So tonight is another serious night and God wants to speak to us all again seriously. And I want us to be sensitive. I want you watching me right now online to be sensitive, to open your mind to receive. Be flexible in the spirit. Hebrews 3 15. He says why it is said. Please if you are putting the scriptures on there try and put the verses as well. Hebrews 3 15. I will not be in a rush today reduce the volume hebrews 3 15 i'll not be in a rush today i'll take my time to teach gradually 
Hallelujah. Amen. It says, Why it is said today, if you hear his voice, what? Harden not your heart as in the provocation. Harden not your heart. Because today might be the last day you have an opportunity for a pastor to stand in front of you and preach the message. Yeah. Today might be the last day that you may have an opportunity to open your Bibles and be able to read the scriptures. Yeah. So today it says, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation. Now, one thing my father always says is that if you want to learn, do not teach. If you want to learn, do not teach. Please, all of you online, share. Share to your friends, share to your families, share, like, share. Last Thursday, I received physical attacks as concerned the warnings that I gave about being careful as to what we listen at this end time. I said last Thursday that the devil has preachers online. The devil has apostles online. The devil has prophets online. The devil has doctors online. The devil has nurses online. The devil has even the Pope online right now preaching. And someone said, why should I be talking about other pastors like that? Well, if I can, led by the Holy Spirit. And this is not about other pastors, please. This is about the Antichrist. This is about those that the Antichrist has employed in these last days to preach the false gospel of Christ. To preach the false gospel of Christ. Matthew 24, 24. And every time I tell you something, I'll give you a verse to back it up. Matthew 24, 24. People, it is Bible study. Matthew 24, 24. Matthew 24, 24. It says what? It says, there shall rise false Christ. I'm not seeing it on there, please. If you are there, put it on there. Put it on there for those who are not there to read. Matthew 24, 24. It says, There shall rise false Christ and false prophets and shall share great signs and wonders in us so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. They shall deceive the very elect. They shall deceive the very elect of Christ. They shall deceive the, those who are already born again. Those who have already given their life to Christ. That if they are not careful in the last days, false Christ will come and they will deceive the very elect. Child of God, everywhere in the Bible, God himself sent prophets to go and warn fake prophets. Remember God sent a prophet in the Bible to go and warn the prophets of Baal. And also to warn his people about those who are teaching false doctrines. So God will prepare his own whom he will send to judge, to teach, and to warn his people about fake prophets that the Antichrist has employed in this last day to deceive the saints. If not, then many will perish because of lack of knowledge. How? By listening to false doctrines that will pollute and quench the Holy Spirit in them. Remember the last time I said here, yeah, I said in the last days, those who take the mark of the beast as are those who have listened to false doctrines yeah. because what false doctrines do is they pollute the holy spirit in you they quench the spirit of god in you they lead you astray they lead you astray and i said if the holy spirit in you has been quenched you may not be able to make heaven okay. romans 8 9 if you are there romans 8 9 thank you percy for putting on the scriptures romans 8 9 he says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. You see that? So if any man has not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Now, my father puts it like this. My father and the Lord Apostle, also the man says, if you don't know the Holy Spirit, God does not know you. And that's what we've just read. Hallelujah. And if you are not, you don't know the Holy Spirit, you are not a true Christian. That sounds a bit hard. But that's what we have just heard, read. He said, if so be, that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, that's talking about the Holy Ghost, he is none of his. Romans 8.14, he says, as, Romans 8.14, he says, for as many as are led, by the holy spirit are what 
they are the sons of God. As many as are led by the Holy Spirit of God are the sons of God. Romans 8 14. Now, someone said to me that the word Trinity is not in the Bible. As I'm preaching, I'll be answering the question. So, you hear your question as I'm preaching. That the word Trinity is not in the Bible and they do not believe in the Trinity. They ask, Will I go to heaven? Say, I don't believe in the Trinity. Will I go to heaven? Yes, the word Trinity, child of God, means Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And accurately said, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. But the concept of Trinity is spiritual. The concept of Trinity is accurate. And it is a mystery. Let's read John 14, 9, 11. John 14, 9, 11. John 14, 9, 11. Please let's all get our Bibles. John 14, 9, 11. It says, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet, had thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how, how sayest thou then? Show us the Father. Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. He says, the word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. Listen to that. But the Father that dwelleth in me is like husband and wife. He says, he doeth the work. Verse 11 says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Amen. So yes, from those verses, the Trinity is spiritual. The Trinity is accurate. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now it is like this. I break this down. The Father came, did all the creation, and then Adam and Eve messed around. Now he had to bring in a replacement through jesus christ of nazareth to come and redeem mankind from the mess of the past mm. jesus christ of nazareth came did what he had to do through the father and they say if i don't leave the holy ghost will not come upon you now the holy ghost had to take place and jesus christ went to heaven he is seated at the right hand of the father now interceding for you and i so we are living in the dispensation of the holy ghost so anytime you say jesus what you literally mean is the holy spirit so yes as a servant of god you have to be led by the holy spirit and yes i'm allowed to preach against false doctrine led by the holy ghost and to warn the people that god has given me that is you looking at me now you in the state in, in this office people that god has placed over me against false doctrines because when all is said and done child of god i'll be held responsible for the sheep that he placed under my care it is very important that we understand that first corinthians 2 15 first corinthians 2 15 i've not got into my message i'm just giving a bit of a foundation it says but he that is spiritual judged all things he that is spiritual judged all things Many will say, but Jesus said, do not judge. But we do not read the following verses after do not judge. Let's go. Matthew 7, 1, 3. Matthew 7, 1, 3. He says, judge not that you be not judged. Listen carefully. Verse 2. He says, for with what judge ye judge, ye shall be judged. Listen to that. For with what you judge others, ye shall be judged. That literally means, if you are committing fornication, don't talk to your neighbor. Don't judge your neighbor that is committing fornication because you are doing the same thing. I'm coming to that. It says, and with what measure ye made, it shall be measured to you again. So what that tells you, it literally means, do not be a hypocrite. Do not be a hypocrite. Do not say a pastor is committing adultery when you are committing adultery as well. You cannot judge them because you are doing the same thing. Do not say someone is preaching the gospel of prosperity and deceiving others when you are also preaching the gospel of prosperity and taking money off people. Do not say a pastor is fake when you yourself you are a fake Christian. Do not be a hypocrite. I also got attacked and people are leaving a Facebook page and angry because I said that it is wrong to pray to Mary. I said it is wrong to pray to Mary, talking about the Catholic Church. I will not take that back, child of God. 
If you have anyone in the Catholic Church worshiping Mary, pray for them for a revelation. For a revelation, pray for them for enlightenment. Let me educate you on that. Worshiping Mary or praying to Mary is adult worship. Praying to Mary is adult worship, and unknown to you, you are praying to a goddess called Altina. Go and do your research. All those praying to Mary, they are praying to a goddess, the statutes at the, in the Kali church. It is called Artina. Now, it is true that Mary was a good woman, but she is dead, she is gone, she is buried. She will never come back. The Bible says that the dead has nothing to do with the living. Go and do your research. Ecclesiastes 9 5. The dead has nothing to do with the living. So, it is Jesus Christ who died for you and died. It is not Mary who died for you and died. It is Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary for you and died. It is Jesus Christ that was buried. It is Jesus Christ that resurrected again on the third day to come and redeem mankind, not Mary. So if you have anyone praying to Mary, please pray for them, for their salvation. John 14, 6, it says, Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life, not Mary. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but through me. So the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rest my case there. Amen. Let us now quickly go back to what we did on Thursday. A lot of you have said you want me to give a recap of what we did on Thursday. Um, we studied about the resurrection of Christ. I'll do that again quickly, give you a recap. And if we have time, we'll study Revelation 6. Uh, we'll study Revelation 12, sorry. I think on Thursday, we touched on Revelation 6 briefly. Yes. Now quickly, go to me again to Revelation 6, 1 to 2. And it says, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I, as I heard, as it were the noise of thunder. I'll be very quick with the recap, and then we'll go straight to our message. It says, One of the four be saying, Come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse. And I told you on Thursday that many think this is a Messiah, but this is not a Messiah. This is a counterfeit Messiah. Now I have this to say to you, child of God. Behind every original, there's a fake. Behind every original coin or money, there's a fake. Behind any original hair you put on your head, those Brazilian hair, there's a fake. Behind any pair of shoes you wear, there's a fake. Behind any pair of birds you wear, there's a fake. So this year was the counterfeit Messiah. And on Thursday, I showed you the real Messiah in Revelation 9, 11, 19, 11 to 14. I showed you the real Messiah in Revelation 19, 11 to 14. And I said that they are simply paving the way right now, what we are seeing to the introduction of the false Messiah, the Antichrist, if you want. That is why I said, the virus was a man-made virus to introduce fear and panic and then take away our freedom. I also said I had a revelation recently where I saw churches and leaders handed guidelines. I've said already earlier. They were handed guidelines. We pastors were handed guidelines. Christians were handed guidelines. It will come a time where we'll be told what to preach. You see this one word religion. So literally those are guidelines they'll give you. This is what you're allowed to preach. So they'll have a Bible for the one it will not be called a bible i don't know what it will be called but that is what will be handed to to, to many to pastors to preach this is what you have to preach you know it's a one religion yeah. this is what you have to preach and the lord showed me that once you go away from what they gave you to preach they will arrest you imprison you and even face death that is what the persecution is all about hallelujah Amen. and think about it since when did they flew and a cough i said last week being used to quarantine people at home the truth is that do you know that every year around the world more than one million people die from flus mm -hmm. go and mm -hmm. do your research mm -hmm. normal, flu. Mm -hmm. normal yeah. flu and cough all around the world more than one million people die from flu and cough all around the world but no one has ever quarantined anyone for this period of time mm -hmm. So that's to tell you that there's an evil agenda behind all what is happening right now. Mm. Does that make any sense? Yes, sir. I said to someone this week that I don't even think that this man-made virus is contagious. You know I say I don't think it's contagious. 
Because I've been to houses to play for so many people who have it. So why is it that it has not come to me if it is contagious? Mm. Does that make any sense to you? If it is really contagious, it means even us here in this place, someone would have, would have, would have caught it. Mm -hmm. So I believe that it is man-made and that is not even contagious. And she said she knows a family who all had it almost at the same time. I said, but think about it. If you have high frequency radiation, you know high frequency radiation, it causes sicknesses. That's what causes most of the cancer you see in the hospital. And if you have that around your area, everybody will be sick almost at the same time. Because it's high frequency radiation. So we said they are literally using all these strategies to introduce the mark of the beast, the Antichrist. And we looked at what happens after the Antichrist is introduced. I'm, I'm bringing this back again because many of you sent me questions and you, you, many of us contradicted. You did not understand exactly what we are saying here last Thursday. And we said he comes to remove peace from the earth as the Bible says in Revelation 6, 3, 4. What is the role of the Antichrist? He comes to remove peace from the earth. As the Bible says in Revelation 6, 3, 4. Revelation 6, 3, 4. It says, when the lamb ripped off the second seal, I heard the second animal cry. Come out. Another horse appeared. This one red. His riders was off to take peace from the earth, setting people at each other's throat, killing one another. He was giving a used sword. So what is the role of the Antichrist? To take peace away from the earth. Now, quickly to summarize my teaching last week, we went on to say that suddenly after the Antichrist, there will be the Armageddon of Christians will kick in. Revelation 6, 9, 11. Revelation 6, 9, 11. This is where I end with my preaching for last Thursday. If you understand, fine. Revelation 6, 9, 11. And when he has opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain from the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long? Oh Lord, those were Christians. Those were Christians. How long, oh Lord, holy and true? How long do, uh, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. That's us, the Bible is talking about. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season unto their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Notice that this is talking about a great tribulation. I said that already last week. Where Christians who refuse to take the mark of the beast will be persecuted for their faith in Christ Jesus. The great tribulation is a season of extreme trouble. It comes before the rapture. Someone asked me this last week. The great tribulation comes before the rapture. The great tribulation comes before the rapture. It is a great this is a season of extreme trouble before the rapture. And Christians will go through it. Yes, child of God, you and I will go through the great tribulation. Matthew 24, 9. Please, let's read. Matthew 24, 9. This is Bible study, people. Matthew 24, 9. It says, Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and be put to death. Look at that. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and be put to death. And you'll be hated by all nations because of me. Literally, you'll be hated by the Antichrist and all his agents because of Christ. Mm. Now, I heard someone preaching this on television be before thousands of view viewers. And the person said that, no, Christians will not go through the great tribulation. No, child of God, read your Bible. As those verses we read above, Christians will go through the great tribulation. Christians will go through the great tribulation. Read Revelation 12, which we will look at again later on. And last week we said Christians will go through the great tribulation, but not the wrath of God. We don't go through the wrath of God. We don't go through the wrath of God. After the great tribulation comes the wrath of God. We don't go through the wrath of God, but we go through the great tribulation. Where I just told you that pastors will be persecuted, preachers will be persecuted. You will not be allowed to read your Bible. You will not be allowed to preach the word of God. You will be giving standards to preach what to preach, what not to preach. So get these words in your spirit as much as you can now. As much as there is still time. Someone asked me uh, recently that do you think we are in the great tribulation? No, we are not in the great tribulation. We read Revelation 6 from verse 3. Apparently, even the first seal has not yet been opened. 
We are not in the great tribulation. I've said it and I'll say it again. God told me that there will be a revival that is coming. Sir, what happens to the 10 vessel like that he said, all right? Aya. <laughs> hey! What happens to the 10 vessel like that he said, all right? It has to happen first. No, no, no. We are not yet in the great tribulation. It cannot come now, sir. It cannot come now. John 2, verse 28. In the last days, what happened? I will pour out my spirit upon oh, all flesh. Have you seen that now? Yes, sir. No, no, no. But he, he, they say your sons and daughters. He, he, he has, no, he has no, not yet happened. Manifested. So that is a great revival that he was it's showing me that it will happen. Yes. Romans 8 19. For the earnest expectation of creation awaited the manifestation. If, have you seen manifestation? You think this is what we are seeing here? This is no manifestation. John 14 12. He that believed he would do the things that Jesus did, and even greater. The, how many dead people have you raised from the dead? It hasn't begun. It has not begun. Yes, so before the great tribulation, I think we have more than fifteen years again. Mm. So don't be afraid. Yeah. Now don't say I wait till the last sign. That's what some of you are saying. Mm. If you wait till the last sign, you'll not be ready for the tribulation. Yes. That's why you need to prepare yourself now. Build your faith now in the be your faith now. Does that make sense? Yes, Strengthen yourself now in the most holy faith. Mm. So that boldness enters you. Mm. So that when it comes, you are ready for it. Mm. Many people are waiting for the last sign before they give their life to Christ. It might be too late then, child of God. Prepare yourself now. Strengthen yourself now in the most holy faith. Finally, last week we looked at the last signs to look at for just before the return of our Messiah. We look at Revelation 6, 12, 17. Revelation 6, 12, 17. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sad. That's a sixth seal now. Like I said, the first seal has not yet been opened. I don't think so. I don't believe so. It says, and the sun became black as a sad cloth of hair and the moon became as blood. And the, as, I pray I can have time to teach Revelation 12 today. It's powerful. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casted her untimely figs when she is shaking of it. So you have to know the signs. Revelation 6, 15, 17 speaks of the wrath of God. We said that last week when he returns. But the truth is that the Bible says they are those that will not repent even when Christ returns. Even on their dying bed, they'll say, I'm not do. Even on their dying bed, they'll say, forget. So don't kill yourself for everyone. Christ did not come to die for everyone. I was not sent for everyone. Your brother might like what I'm preaching, but your sister might not like it. Don't kill yourself for your sister. Don't kill yourself. Jesus did not come for everyone. I was not sent for everyone. I was not sent for everyone. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Question. Someone wanted to know when Jesus will be returning. When Jesus will be returning. I say we'll be answering a lot of questions today. I think the question should never be when Jesus should be returning. But we should be focused on repentance. We should be focused on strengthening our faith right now. I've said that already. So we need to repent from all known and unknown sins and begin to prepare ourselves for the great tribulation. How? By igniting our altar of prayer, by filling ourselves with the Holy Ghost, by spending time with His Word, by fellowshipping, by communion with Jesus as He longs to spend time with us. Child of God, Jesus longs to spend time with you. Jesus longs to spend time with you. Jesus longs to speak to you. Jesus longs to speak to you. Amen. Jesus longs to speak to you Amen. daily, not on some days. And now is the time to do all this preparation, to hear from him. Do not wait for tomorrow because tomorrow might be too late. Repent and turn away from that sacred sin. No one knows when Jesus Christ, our Messiah, will return. But the Bible says when we begin to see the prophecy of the sun becoming black and the moon becoming as blood, then we know that the coming of our Savior is near. Amen. Matthews 24, 30. Let's read. Matthews 24, 30. 30 to 41. Matthews 24, 30 to 41. Matthews 24, 30 to 41. It says, but about that day, or 
hour. No one knows, please. But about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven. Some people say it will come in 2052. Some people say it will come in 2030. False prophets, false doctrines. That's what I'm talking about today. No one knows, not even the angel in heaven, nor the son, but only the father. As it was in the days of Noah. Now we are warning people and they are not listening. It had not rained for more than a thousand years in the days of Noah. And suddenly Noah woke up and said, there will be so much rain. And the people were doubting Thomas. Nobody believed in Noah. Even Noah's relatives did not believe in Noah. And that is how the flood came and carried them all. Mm. Noah kept warning them every day. He was building the ark. They were mocking him. Just like we are building the church through Christ. They are mocking us. Mm. We are preaching his word. They are mocking us. Mm. No one is believing that Jesus is returning again. Then yes. no one knows the time. No one knows the hour. It could be now as we speak. He might return right now. I pray that he will not take any of us unaware in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Many Christians say, I will wait for the last sign before I repent. Child of God, it may be too late. Repent now before it is late. Someone asks if she will go to hell if she wore makeup. Questions. <laughs> say, Pastor, will I go to hell if I wear makeup? Now, with everything you do in this kingdom, with everything you do in this kingdom, your motives first. Amen. Your motives, motives, motives. What is your motive for wearing makeup? Are you wearing makeup to seduce? Your motives matter because they are demonic makeups. They are makeup that are created from the kingdom of hell, from the marine kingdom. Those makeup are there to seduce and to destroy the life of humans. Proverbs 6.25 it says, do not desire her beauty in your heart. And this goes in both ways. And do not let her capture you with the eyelashes. Mm. <laughs> do not let her capture you with the eye. Uh, seduction is a sin. The Bible says all the seducers will rot in the pit of hell. When you dress up and go out, what is your motive? When you put up that makeup, what is your motive? Is this to seduce? Is it to lead someone to hell? Another one says, if I wear trousers, is it okay to wear trousers? Now, I have to say this. It is not a sin to wear trousers. As long as you are not wearing your trousers to arrest your bum bum. And to seduce someone out there. Wear a dress, I advise, that covers every part of your body. Especially your private part. Women especially. Wear a dress that covers your private part. Don't wear a dress that prints out your private part for people to see. That is happening today. And in the market now, women, they have something they buy that they can put there and it really prints it out to kill someone while they are driving. Your plan will not work in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> is it okay to wear perfumes? This, this Bible study looks like it doesn't make sense, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. Is it okay to wear perfumes? Is it a sin to wear perfumes? No, child of God, it is not a sin to wear perfumes. Because a woman washed the feet of Jesus with perfume. But again, it becomes a sin if you are spraying that perfume and you are saying to yourself, I'm going to take away this woman's husband. I'm going to take away this man's husband by this perfume. Now, some perfumes are demonic as well. Some perfumes are there to seduce, mm. to cause confusion in homes, mm. to cause disunity and divorces in homes. Yes. Mm. Again, another one asks, are tattoos a sin? Tattoos. Are tattoos a sin? It, de it depends. Leviticus 19.28. Let's read. Leviticus 19.28. Someone said, can I have a tattoo? Born again. Tongue speaking. <laughs> Leviticus. Leviticus. <laughs> <laughs> 1928 Hallelujah. it says do not cut your bodies for the death or put tattoos marked on yourself that's the old testament 
Now, it is not a sin if the tattoos you had were done before you accepted Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your personal Savior and Lord. Because once you accept Jesus Christ, as soon as you say, Jesus, I accept you as my personal Savior and Lord, you become born again. Those tattoos are washed by the legal blood of Jesus. Amen. Those tattoos are washed by the legal blood of Jesus. Amen. Now I have this to say very clearly. Child of God, notice that your past cannot affect your present relationship with God. Your past cannot affect your present relationship with God. I don't care how many abortions you committed in the past before you became born again. I don't care how many men, how many women you dated. I don't care how many homes you wrecked. I don't care what you did in the past. Your past sins cannot affect your present relationship with God. They are not even remembered as we speak right now, as long as you are genuinely born again. The Bible says the old has gone, the new has come. If someone is in Christ, it's a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Please don't condemn yourself for past sins. Don't condemn yourself for past mistakes. Don't let anyone condemn you for past sins and mistakes. You know, people that you used to be friends with when you're in the world, when they see you now, the first thing they do, they start judging you from where they knew you in those days. No, sir. No, ma. That person they knew before is gone. dead. Gone. God does not remember those sins. Yeah. They are washed with the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. Amen. And you online watching me now, I dare you to run away from people who judge you based on your past. Because Satan is using them to make you feel guilty. Mm. And that will affect your work with God. That's the most reason why when I became born again, many more than 10 years ago, what I did was, I disconnected from my old friends. You know why? Because they will remind you of your past. And that may lead you back to the world. Mm. That will make you feel guilty about your past sin. Mm. Your past is gone. It doesn't matter what you, who you robbed in the past. It doesn't matter who you killed in the past. Mm. Jesus does not remember those sins. You are born again. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. What I'm saying is when Jesus washes you with the blood of Jesus, it is as if you never committed those sins before. That is the message of God. Now, please take note. Tattoos can only become a sin when you are now born again. Tongue speaking and you go and do tattoos. When you are now born again, you are enlightened with the word of God and you carry yourself and go and do tattoos. Mind you, many people think that they draw what they draw on them is tattooed today. It's not. Many of that is Illuminati. I saw a video where they began to draw, you know, the Illuminati sign, the eye and all that. Many of them go and draw 666 on their hands and on their body. You have taken the mark of the beast unknowingly. The Bible says many people will take the mark of beast, the beast without even knowing it. Again, I hope that makes sense. If, if that is making any sense, type amen there and share. Again, someone wanted to know if listening to Al Kelly, listening to his Christian songs, using it for worship, is okay. And the answer is no, no, no. It's a big fat no. Al Kelly is not born again. Many people are playing Christian songs. They are singing Christian songs because of the revenue they are getting from it. Al Kelly or anyone who is not born again who sings Christian song is called, the Bible calls them Nicoletans. Who is a Nicoletan? A Nicoletan is someone who says they are born again. Christians but knowingly living in sin. They live a pagan life but they claim to be born again. Mm. Let's go to Revelation 2.6. Revelation 2.6. Revelation 2.6. Revelation 2.6. Revelation 2 6. What does it say? It says, Yet this you have. You hate the works of the Nicoletans, which I also hate. You hate what? The works of the Nicoletans. Child of God, 
there is nothing good that can come from a devil. Yes. His name is the devil. Mm. Take up of the first D, it still remains evil. So anybody from the pit of hell that sings a Christian song, it comes with the spirit of hell. When we're in the world and you're dancing all those makosas and all those things, many of those people have made covenants with Illuminati gods, with several gods on earth. And anyone that listens to those songs, it is a kind of a mystery they, they, they initiate. It's the same thing when you worship God, you lift up your hands and the spirit of God falls on you. It's the same thing with anything that comes from the pit of hell. The spirit of the devil also falls on you, whether you know, you know it or not. Many people won't believe in what I'm saying, but that is the truth. So Jesus is saying in those verses that he loves them, but he hates their sin. So the answer is a big no. Our Kelly is not born again. Michael Jackson used to sing Christian songs. They, you are not born again, you are not born again. So the answer is a big no. Stay away from it. Stay away from any Hollywood Christian music. Because it will pollute and it will quench the Holy Ghost inside of you. When you start listening to those songs, it will quench the Holy Spirit inside of you. And in the beginning, we've said that if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you will not make heaven. That sounds very hard. We said that true worship last week was not literally having a musical theater. All that is good. We, are, we have invested thousands of pounds to have something like that already. All that is good. But true worship is worshiping God in spirit and in truth. You might be in your toilet and you say, I magnify you. I celebrate you. I rejoice you, Lord. I honor you. I exalt you. That is true worship. It literally does not need to be. It must come out from your heart. It comes out from your heart. Say, so those who worship God must worship Him in, in spirit and in truth. We said that true worship was from the heart. And it must be in spirit and in truth. Like the three wise men, remember when they came to meet Jesus, what did they do? The Bible says they went down on their knees and they worship him. They lifted up their hands and they worship him. They worship him. He was not singing some, no, they worship him from their heart. Not necessarily a musical theater. Let's look at Nehemiah 8.6 to prove that fact. Nehemiah 8.6. Nehemiah 8.6. What does it say? Nehemiah 8.6 says, and Isaiah, bless the Lord, the great God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen. Look at what did they do? We lifting up their hands and they bow their heads and worship the Lord Hallelujah. with their faces to the ground. Amen. So it was not necessarily a song singing. It was not necessary. You are in the car, you worship him. You are in the toilet as your bum bong is making noise, your mouth is worshiping God. It's very important. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And we said that worshiping God genuinely in spirit and in truth yeah. is daily, not just on Sundays. <laughs> worshiping God in spirit and in truth is daily, not just on Sundays. So please do not fall a prey to false doctrines of men. And many Christians keep doing these things without knowing the wrath of God. Because they, because of ignorance, the Bible says, "My people suffer for lack of knowledge, because they don't know what the wrath of God does in the end times." Keep away from anything that seduces others. Keep away from anything that leads others to sin. Second Kings nineteen thirty five. Second Kings nineteen thirty five. Your motive should be right. Your motive should be right. Your motives for doing anything in the kingdom should be right. Your motives for doing anything in the kingdom should be right. Second Kings 19.35 Looking at the wrath of God. The Bible says one angel alone killed 185,000 soldiers. One angel alone killed 185,000 soldiers. Sir. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says that in the end time he will send his host of angels. My God. One killed 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. Then in the end time, he will come with his host of angels on earth. The wrath of God to come and release his wrath. Yes. With his host of one angel killed 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. Imagine now he comes with his host of angels. 
The wrath of God is for those who live unholy lives. It's for those who live seductive life. It's for those... Someone will say, it's too hot. Summer. you see them dressed anyhow. Mm-hmm. Unknown to you, someone is looking at you and is lost in. Mm-hmm. If they die at that point, their blood is on your head because you led them to it. Mm-hmm. You may be going for sport. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. Yeah. Many people say they are going for sport. They are not going for sport. They are going to cause accidents. <laughs> Shameful. I'm telling you, they are going to cause accidents. They say they are going for jogging. They are dressed, the every part of their body is showing. Some of them don't even have a bra on. And someone is driving and is 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 confused. <laughs> so the wrath of God will not touch true Christians. For the Bible says Jesus is coming back for the true tribe of the house of Israel. Jesus is coming back for the true tribe of the house of Israel. Pastor David, you remember once we went to do evangelism? Mm. And these gentlemen, they were preaching that the, the true tribe of Israel yeah. is black is black people. Is black people. Yeah. Confused. Confused individuals. Individuals. And they were arguing that the true tribe of Israel is black people no sir no ma angry. They didn't want that to james 1 1 let's look at who are the true tribe of israel mm. james the servant of god and of the law and that's that you see those are the false doctrines i'm talking about because that that can enter someone's head and mm. he begins to look at others so small he begins to belittle right. every other person say you are not the truth so white people are not the true tribe of israel Asians are not the true tribe of israel mm. that is what they were preaching at the city center mm. me and pastor david was there and we're like so angry mm. I told I drew Pastor David and said, let's go. Mm. That the true tribe of Israel is black people. And they printed flyer and they are so serious, so passionate. False doctrines. Mm. James 1 1 says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribe scattered among the nation. So therefore, the Israel of God are those who are born again yes. through faith in Christ Jesus. So who are the true Christ of Israel? You and I. Who are born again through faith in Christ Jesus. So when he returns, he's coming for the true tribe of Israel. Scatter abroad. They are scattered all over. And we are part of them. White, blacks, Asians, Chinese, anyone who believes in Jesus Christ. Anyone who believes that Jesus died on the cross for their salvation is the true Christ. Period. But they were preaching and they were so passionate about false doctrines. Just imagine how many people got diverted on that day because of that. Mm-hmm. Child of God, your motives matters. Whatever you're about to do today, think about it. Your motives matters. I pray for you and I command every cycle of limitation, stopping you from walking in holiness. Let it break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hope you are my beginning to thank God for that word. That's a life-saving word for somebody. That's a life-saving word for somebody. Thank God for that word. 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 Lasso palie katala. Male kote maya kato. Leke kete maya la kata. Leko samia la kata. Mate tote leke te maya kata. Mate sasso palia kata. Leke kete maya la kata. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are grateful. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We celebrate you. We rejoice you. We honor you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God said, "Draw me to them again." I came to drum that to you again. Amen. We shall pray one prayer and we shall go. Second Corinthians, please get your communions ready. Get bread. Whether I have bread, whatever I have, will transform into the blood and the body of Christ. It's a mystery. You just have to believe. Second Corinthians thirteen five. He says, examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. He says, test yourself. He says, do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. Mm-hmm. I did not talk about Revelation 12 today because I want us to do that on Sunday. It will take about more than 30 minutes. So if we do that, we might leave us here by 10 o'clock. Hebrews 9, 20, 27. Hebrews 9, 27. Hebrews 9 27 and just as it is appointed for man to die once and after that what comes judgment 
so there is judgment so that says that we need to stop living our lives carelessly as though, as though there's no judgment as many people say we shall pray that father in the name of jesus forgive me for living my life as though there is no judgment forgive me for living my life as though there's no eternity forgive me for living my life as though there's no hell oh lord tonight and every day of my life i decide to live my life knowing i will give account for it i decide to live my life knowing i will give account for it with eternity in view so help me lord open your mouth and pray that prayer so help me lord help me jesus help me jesus help me jesus help me jesus Help me, Jesus. Lato se Maria kata. Mate ko se Maria kata. Lord, be merciful unto me. Mate ko te Maria la kata. Help me, Lord. Help me to live my life, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Worthy. Glory. Worthy. Help me to walk in holiness. Help me to walk in holiness. In the future. Help me, Lord. My gede de ba ye kabando in chastity. Help me, my Father. In purity, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, if you have your communion, take them now. Pastor David, get us our communion. Thank you, Jesus. Someone go with me to Matthews 26, 26, 30. Someone said, must I take the communion? Must I eat of his body and drink of his blood? Say, must every Christian Take the communion. Just put it there for now, sir. Okay. Matthew 26, 26, 30. And it says, And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it. This is my body. Verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I said unto you, I will not drink henceforth of these fruits of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Verse 30 says, And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Yes. So many people come here from different denominations and they say, Oh, we are not allowed to drink, eat, drink and eat of the body and the blood. They say, We do not take communion. I did not take communion in my previous church. Either because they do not believe in it or because they are not yet baptized. Yes, you can take the communion if you are not yet baptized. As long as you are saved, as long as you believe in Jesus Christ, as long as you are saved through faith in Jesus Christ, you can take the communion. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Percy sent us a video today and many of you did not say amen to that video. Someone said, Pastor, how can you just say by April 25th? Even some of us, we are praying and we don't believe that God can do it. I say, because, I'm telling you, many of us, someone said, Pastor, how can you be so courageous to go and put that kind of video there? He said, what if it doesn't happen? Who cares? I'm not the maker. What if it happens? Job 22, 28 said, that shall be creating and it shall be established. So you must believe. We have just prayed four days where someone is saying, Pastor, how do you know that will happen for sure? That is what you have been praying, you have been fasting for for four days. That just tells me you were not even fasting. Because if you believe that he can do all things, without God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 137. So when you pray that by April 25th, you have made declaration that it will happen. You have to believe that it will happen. The church shall live by faith. So yes, this is not the normal bread that you are eating at home. It is a flesh of Jesus Christ as soon as you pray for it. Amen. What you have just, you have with you right there. Once it is prayed for, it becomes the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. We've seen it here. Someone has hepatitis B, cancer. It was healed here. Amen. The, as Amen. soon as they took the blood of Jesus, they started manifesting there. Amen. Someone had a moving part. It was gone by the power in the blood of Jesus. We've seen all sorts of things here by the power in the blood of Jesus. It is a mystery that was introduced by Jesus Christ himself in John 4, John 6. John 6, let's look at John 6. John 6, 47. John 6, 47. Jesus was introducing the communion. John 6, 47 to 51. He says what? Verily, verily, I tell you, 
The one who believes has eternal life. The one who believes what? In this mystery we are about to take. Has eternal life. Verse 48 says, I am the bread of life. That is Jesus himself speaking. He said, if you believe in what you are about to do, it will give you eternal life. It will renew. It will revitalize your mortal body. If you are sick in your body, it will heal it. Amen. But you have to believe. Verse 48 says, I am the bread of life. Verse 49 says, Your ancestor ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. Amen. Amen. 51 says, I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. That is Jesus speaking. Mm. He says, Whosoever eats this bread will live forever. So it means indirectly that if you don't eat of his bread, his body, his flesh, and his blood daily, you may not live forever. He says, this bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Leviticus 17.11. I hope I pronounce that well now. Yes. Leviticus 17.11. He says, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. He says, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is a blood that maketh an atonement for the the reason why you are still alive, you and I watching me now is because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the Amen. word of their testimony. So that tells you that the life of the flesh is in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So the blood of Jesus is our covenant dress code as Christians. Amen. Every time we take the blood of Jesus and the flesh, we drink the life of Christ. We fill ourselves with the life of Christ. Mm. Now, you at home, stretch that body and that blood. Let me pray for it. Let me transform it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Even the one year, the rest of you pray. Don't bring it too close to me. The rest of you pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. Even as my hands are stretched, you said every time I stretch my hand, Jesus, that you put my hand on your hand on my hand, and that you heal them, and that you deliver them, and that you restore them. Therefore, as I stretch my hand, the right hand of God is power. I declare, I declare, and I ask, O oh Lord, release your heavenly bodily presence right now on that, the content of the body and the blood that they are holding in their homes in the name of Jesus. Right now, my Father, release in your heavenly bodily presence in there in the name of Jesus. Transform it in the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Transform it in the blood of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Transform this in the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Transform in the blood of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. Father, in the name of Jesus, by reason of this communion, I ask, O oh Lord, let every sickness die in the name of Jesus. Let every delay die in the name of Jesus. Let every disappointment die in the name of Jesus. Let every retardation die in the name of Jesus. Let every negative medical report be cancelled by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lion of the tribe of Judah, all those watching me now online by the power in the blood of Jesus, let there be a restoration. Let there be deliverances now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he stood in the upper room with the disciples. He took the bread that represented his body. At home, take the bread that represented the body. After Jesus has break it and given thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take of this and eat. This is my body that was shared for you on the cross of Calvary. For the remission of your sins, he said to them, Do this as often as you can, until my coming in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same order of event, you at home, take your blood now. In the same order of event, after they may have eaten of his body, he took the cup that represented his blood, after he has blessed it and given thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, Take of this and drink. This cup is my blood of a new covenant that was shed for you on the cross of Calvary for the remission of your sins. He said, Do this as often as you can until my coming in remembrance of me. Amen. You at home, drink it as well. And as you drink, you begin to pray. Whatever is in my body that needs to go, let it go. Whatever is in me that needs to go, let it go. As you drink, you begin to pray. 
Whatever I see me that need to go, let it go. Whatever I see me that need to go, let it go. Anything that my heavenly father has not planted in me, let it go. 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 Let it go right now. 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 Let it go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is in me, that is not of him. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Anything negative reports, sickness, cancer, diabetes, anything that I've been diagnosed with, that is not of God. By this communion, let it go. 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 Open your mind and begin to pray for yourself before I pray for you. Pray for yourself before I pray for you. When you go back to the hospital, that negative medical report, you will see no more in the name of Jesus. Open your mind, begin to pray. Whatever needs to go, let it go. Whatever has been covered in my life, let it be uncovered by the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whatever has been covered in my life, let it be uncovered right now by the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whatever has been covered. Pray, pray. Lako Shambia Lakata. Leko Sapia Nakata. Thank you and thank you and thank you, my father. You alone are worthy, Lord. You alone are worthy, Lord. We bless you, Master Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please just thank God for answer prayers before I pray for you. Father, we just thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Spiritual things sometimes don't happen supernaturally. You might not see a fall. Lord, you might not see a, a fall. You might not see being slain in the spirit. The there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Lato te ka so maya. Yes, so paya la kata. We are grateful to you. Father, we just we thank, you. thank you. For this Lord, we just celebrate you. Thank you and Lord, we just you. rejoice you. We rejoice in you, Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands on the screen while I release a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says. I should prophesy as I'm commanded. Thank the word of God says in 1 Samuel 3.1, the Bible says there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Mm. But David worked stronger and stronger mm. and the house of Saul works weaker and weaker. Mm. Right now, as I stretch my right hand, the right hand of God is power. Mm. I declare, I declare upon you hearing the sound of my voice. Any prolonged battles ends now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. I command every diabolic power that has been fighting anyone here at night, that has been manipulating your dreams, that has been delaying you in any area of your life, I command it to backfire by fire in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. I say, let it backfire by fire in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. You that is watching me online, if you are sick in your body, place your left hand on that place where you are sick. I declare, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cancel every negative medical report in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare, I declare, be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare, I declare, fibro die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sugar diabetes die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Cancer die in the name of Jesus. Amen. HIV die in the name of Jesus. Amen. God said he wishes above all things that you may be in good health. Yes, Lord. Even as your soul prospered. Right. That right there is the promise of God. Therefore, Amen. I declare and declare. Yes, enjoy the promises of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, enjoy the promise of God in the name of Amen. Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare and declare, if you are bound in any area of your life, be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pain in the bone, I command you. Loose your all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Skin disease. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want you to believe with me so so much. Thank you. Pastor David is here last week, even while we're praying, mm. I said there's a little boy on the bed that is being plagued by a fever. And as we prayed, as we are praying, now that little boy jacked up from bed, the, the mother sent a testimony, mm. and that little boy begin to, began to dance. Mm. I declare, declare, your testimonies will not be delayed anymore in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. If you're on the sick bed, wake up and walk in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Wake up and walk in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Any challenge in your life, I command it be still in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Any challenge in your life, I command me bow in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are facing challenges with your job at this time, yes. may the God of this commission give you a better rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the God of this commission give you a supernatural job in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. I declare, declare. Receive your prosperity in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done in Jesus' name. Wherever I open your mouth, I'm going to thank Him, Father. We just thank you, Lord. We just celebrate you, Lord. We we just rejoice you. Thank you and thank you and thank you, my Father. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you all for joining. Again, we don't worship on Wednesday. We only meet to pray. Please don't wait for us on Wednesday because we we have our midweek services today, not Wednesday. The whole of this month will be teaching on the book of Revelation. Amen. The book of Revelation. That's what we'll be teaching the whole of this month. We're about to do Revelation two of today, but we had another agenda. God had another agenda. So please, on Sunday, join us to read the book of Revelation twelve. You, it is very powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Join us on Sundays at eleven thirty online. On Thursdays, we also meet at 7.30, just like today. Then during the week, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, from 11.30 till about 1 o'clock, we meet on a conference line to pray every p.m., 11.30 p.m. to pray. On Fridays, tomorrow, we will be meeting on a conference line at 7.30 to pray. Please join us. Do not exempt yourself. Sunday as well, God told me clearly, Sunday is a service the anoint an anointing service Hallelujah. so get your anointing oil ready for sunday 11 30 and then we'll pray for them and then god will lead us to, to what to do next Amen. thank you very much for joining have a good night god bless you we stand with you in prayers let's thank share the grace jesus. may the grace of our lord jesus, jesus the love of god and the sweet and the holy spirit be with us all forevermore amen, amen. Surely, Surely God's, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please, all those with HIV, uh, those who give a testimony about HIV, about kidney failure, about cancer, I, I, we don't want to give those testimonies now because we want you to go back to your doctors uh, uh, and do another test, and we know that uh, we know that the symptoms are gone. But we want you to go back and do another test and it should be confirmed before you come and give we give the testimony if that make any sense to anyone Hallelujah. so Amen. please we dare you to go back to your doctors to do the test and then god will take all the glory Amen. i believe when we come back we'll have testimonies Hallelujah. Galo. Hallelujah. we have a buffet of testimonies Hallelujah. and you will not lose out in the mighty name of jesus Amen. thank you all good night bye 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 bye